Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me here on my website or YouTube channel for another card video. Today I'm sharing how I created a few very simple Christmas cards with a stencil, pattern paper, and versifying Claire inks along with a few other products that I'm going to link below and over on my website as well. So I've pulled a few patterns to give you an idea of what I look for when I want to stencil over patterns with inks. And I want something that is monochromatic or has a very small print. Now, if I plan on doing heat embossing with gold or silver, I will pull a bolder print. But for today, I'm using this monochromatic print that has Christmas trees and gingerbread men. This is from Authentique's Colorful Christmas 6x6 paper pad that was released in 2017, I do believe. So now this is one of my favorite Christmas stencils right now. It's Poinsettia by Honeybee Stamps. I love how some of the petals have that really fun design on them. And to get started, I'm just going to tape that stencil to the pattern paper with a piece of purple tape. And then I'm going to grab my finger daubers and inks, and I'm using the Versifying Claire inks in the colors Glamorous and Shady Lane. And for the sentiments, I stamp those with Nocturne ink. Now onto what I'm doing here, I went ahead and I added the Shady Lane ink on a few of these petals. And then I'm gonna go in and add the Glamorous ink to fill in the rest of that stencil. So now this is my favorite part where I get to do the reveal. And um, I'm also gonna go in and add some embossing powder to this because I want you guys to see how the embossing powder clings to that ink. And then once I have this completely covered, I'm just gonna go ahead and heat set that with my pre um, preheat heat gun. And I do have a silicone mat down underneath that that is heat resistant up to 436 degrees. So I went ahead and I stamped some sentiments from the Tailored Expressions Christmas stamp set and I used the die that goes with that. And I'm just using foam strips now to adhere those to the front of my cards. And like I said earlier, I did stamp those using that Versifying Claire Nocturne ink. I also went ahead and die cut the stenciled panels that you see here. Now I only did one of these on screen. Uh, one of those is done with Nuvo glitter paste and the other one I just did the same thing where I used the Versifying Claire inks to stencil it and then I put some Wow Red Glitz embossing glitter over it and went ahead and heat set that. But they make really quick Christmas cards when you're in a hurry. And the foam strips are perfect for these sentiment strips. They work great. I'm just going to go ahead and line those up really quick with my T ruler. And then I'm going to go in and add some uh, bling to these. And I'm going to be using Fun Stampers Journey they're little shiny blingy gems. They're really pretty. And now my card bases are four and a quarter by five and a half inches if anyone's curious. But you can see there how pretty these turned out and how the pattern paper, you know, really does add a little interest to the card. So I really like to do this. Now this is a great way again to use up some of those pattern papers from previous years and that's exactly what I'm trying to do this year is to use up pattern papers from previous years so that next year I can buy some new pattern papers. So I do believe that is a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to head into your crafty space and create something amazing today. I do hope you'll hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. If you could hit that like button, that would be awesome. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my website where you can find videos and blog posts in one spot. As always, please know how much I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.